Hi, so this is my video discussion on the Southernization article by Linda Schaffer, as you can see right here. And let's start. So the first question is, what is the thesis and do you agree with it? So the thesis in this article was in the first paragraph and it's pretty much Linda explaining the term of Southernization and kind of like um, showing or explaining that there was just so much put into Southernization that it's kind of like hard to outline certain aspects of it. And she also gave like good examples like medical, literary, cotton, sugar, um, pioneering of new trade routes and like all these other innovations and other things that had to do and were put into um, Southernization. And I do agree with her because I think that she's completely right on the fact that there's just so much like put in southernization that it's really like difficult to just outline a certain aspect or to talk about a certain aspect because so many things were tied in and so many things went into it and connected with each other that it's just all kind of like pushed into this one term called southernization. Excuse me. And that will lead us to the next question, which is what is Southernization and what is Westernization? So Southernization is a multi-phase process that began in Southern Asia and spread to various parts of the world. And Westernization refers to certain developments that first occurred in Western Europe. Okay, why? And that will lead us to the next question, which is why do you think the process of westernization is so much like so well known over southernization and i think that the process of westernization was kind of overheard over southernization was because well almost as like a repeated pattern in history europeans and european innovations developments like medical innovation developments like any sort of european innovation development cultural idea type thing i feel like as a pattern in history they're just more well known and well more well like acknowledged because i feel like just the way people are educated especially like in america is just more of like here's european developments and here's like all these european like accomplishments almost um and i feel like that is definitely a reason why westernization is more well known and i feel like there is also more written documentation of a lot of the European or Western European developments and innovations, which is also definitely, I feel like a reason why it's more well known because like there's just more explanation almost, I guess, and like more actual like documentation, like here's what was invented or like around this time here was innovated, here's how it was used, used by these people. And I feel like a lot of people just got a better understanding of that and our next question is oh why what do you think the global signature of southernization was or the global significance of that signature um i feel like southernization kind of like as i talked about at the beginning of the video had a huge um impact on just the world in general because there were so many like new trade routes and like trade was a huge thing at this time because it's just how everything got around from information to actual physical things and these new faster trade routes really like opened up many new possibilities i feel like around the world and um, a lot of these innov innovations and developments such as cotton and sugar and the compass were huge parts of trade because a lot of people wanted this cotton for clothing and the sugar and this new granulated sugar and 
especially the compass for navigation like all these people wanted these things and there was also the new trade routes to help like people get these things a lot faster and i feel like that was just had a huge impact on the world at this time in general because it was just all these new things put together into like southernization and then that leads us to the next question what do you think motivated the term of southernization i think a big thing that motivated the term of southernization was that a lot of these like innovations and developments came from south china which at the beginning of this era northern china actually ruled over all of china um intellectually developmentally like tech technologically just in every way possible pretty much northern china ruled but then during this time of southernization that's when south china kind of gave out all these ideas and innovations and like found all these and discovered some of these new trade routes and like really like these south southern china ideas really like popped and i feel like that's really a big part of where the term southernization came from and then the last question is do you think southern accomplishments really um laid down a foundation for western power and i really think that it did i think that all these new trade routes and i think that some of these bigger innovations really laid out this foundation for western power because with all these new trade routes and with all with um the trade like market just being super like it's just flourishing at this point and just being like really like on top of it when these western european ideas came out they already kind of had like a really good economy going and all these people like wanting to trade and all these different trade routes and i feel like they really just had it kind of set out for them so all they needed were these good ideas and all these innovations and developments and it really helped them succeed what southernization did i think it really helped them succeed and i think it just was a big part 